Here we have a brass wire strainer. Things to note about this and when you're installing is the arrow here which represents the direction of flow. So as long as your flow is going in this direction, it will come in this port here. This is where your wire strainer is. It's a stainless steel mesh uh, on a 60 degree angle with one mil holes. It will go through, through the strainer and out through there. It's good for removing suspended solids and debris in your line. Uh, typically good for if you're going to have a solenoid valve downstream. Solenoid valves are very susceptible to suspended solids because they've got a bleed hole in the diaphragm. Uh, you can install this on any orientation, so it can be you know this way, this way, this way. Um, the idea is you you probably uh, want it with the wire strainer down. Um, that will let you any solids that you do collect even though the strainer blocks it in any direction, they will sit in the bottom. Now you've got a little hex nut here for maintenance. If you're cleaning this in your line, you can leave the item in. Uh, you can undo the hex nut and you can clean the strainer itself. Now if you look down here, you can see the strainer. It's probably kind of hard to see. It looks like it's almost clear, but that is a stainless steel mesh there. Now these units are available from quarter inch up to four inch and they will do up to 10 bar and it's casted on the side of it. And a lot of questions we get is why would you use brass instead of stainless? Uh, the obvious answer is that uh, brass is cheaper. Now, really any line that you've got should have a strainer or some sort of cleaner in it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got a solenoid valve or have any sort of valve or machinery downstream, it'll help protect it. So for the slight cost of a strainer, it really is a good idea.